Good afternoon. We are absolutely thrilled, delighted, and humbled to have Mayor Carter here with us this afternoon. As you can see, he is truly a piper because he knows what colors he needs to wear. <laughs> this is an exciting day for us when we have the mayor of St. Paul who takes time out of his busy day. He has a busy schedule to spend time with us. So we thank you for doing that. I arrived here in St. Paul on Hamlet's campus in 2015. My first semester here, I had the pleasure of meeting Mayor Carter. At that time, he worked for Governor Dayton. And he told me at that time that there was something happening, something on the horizon in terms of his political aspirations. I didn't know exactly what it would be, but he did. And he gave me that little glimpse into what was coming next for him. And imagine my delight when he threw his hat into the ring. Because he is a loyal son of St. Paul in every possible word. I had the pleasure of meeting his mother, who's a Ramsey County Commissioner, before I met him. And that let me know what kind of person he is, because when she came to my office, she came to my office to make sure that I was going to do the right thing. <laughs> okay. That's her, yes. <laughs> she didn't tiptoe around the issues. And I appreciated that. Later I met her son, and I went, aha, aha. This is someone who is going to live according and work according to the words of John Wesley. Do all the good you can. Because if you look at his record over the last two years, he has been doing all the good he possibly can for all of St. Paul, including Hamlin University. So he fits, when I say he's a true piper, he's truly a piper because he's living what we believe in. And I'm just going to highlight very, very quickly some of his accomplishments, because they've been many. And so I want to give most of the time to him. So I'm not going to tell you about everything that he's done, but pay attention to him. Pay attention. He's raised the city's minimum wage, set the course for $15 to $15 an hour. Piloted a rent subsidy program for families with children in St. Paul Public Schools. He's reestablished the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. He's expanded immigrant and refugee support resources. And just recently, if you were paying attention, he launched College Battle, the plan to make sure that every St. Paul child has an opportunity to receive a college education. So there's now a plan in place for our children, for our babies, for our future. So those are just some of the quick highlights of what he's done in a very short period of time. And he's not just saying these things, he's walking the walk. I also had an opportunity to hear him at Hamlin Elementary School when he spoke to the parents there and he shot this idea. So he's been thinking about this college bound idea for a long time. It's not something that just happened overnight. So when he decided to run for mayor, it was clear he had a direction that he wanted St. Paul to go. And we are part of that. Let me tell you, Mayor Carter, you're in the presence of people who are civically engaged. We have the president of our student congress there, Andrew Weston, who keeps me on my toes. Right. Right. They believe in civic engagement. Our students vote, our community vote. So remember that when re-election time comes up. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They vote. They believe in being civically engaged. 
So we are honored and thrilled that you're spending this morning with us. And I am going to stop now and give the mic to you because what you have to say and what you want to share with us, we want to hear. So welcome to Hamlet University. Thank you very much.